Alright, on this one we're going to do a draw test. So first thing we got to do is make sure we open both front doors and take your key and latch it. Same thing on this side. At this point your interior lamps should go out on their own after the delay. It can be up to 45 seconds. Like so, and what that'll tell you is that the um, door jar switches are all working properly and that it's uh, actually shutting down. Now before you do that, we need to make sure the battery's in good shape. Um, if it's dead or partially dead, run at 6-8 volts, your modules will uh, act erratically and cause issues of their own and possible draws. So make sure you have a good battery in there first before you start uh, doing a load test so everything can uh, function properly and shut down properly with the proper voltage. So once we got a good battery in here, pull your negative off, put it to the side. Next what you want to do is isolate the negative uh, terminal here from the post and then you're going to want to put a jumper on here, something like this where you have uh, alligator clips on each end and uh, like a 14 gauge, each one of these wires, 14 or 12, would be best. And we can jumper it through here, make sure it's clean and tight on there so we have a good connection. One way to make sure you got a good connection on those uh, jumpers right there is to, if you have a key fob, to lock your car. and you'll hear the horn, make sure the horn sounds normal, it's not real weak or weird sounding and uh, there you go, you have it armed and um, this way once it's armed the modules can go to sleep and you basically wait up to 45 minutes to an hour usually at 15 minutes you'll have a major drop and draw and you'll be able to tell but some of these newer cars, fancier cars, take up to an hour to um, all the modules that actually go to sleep on the network. So wait at least 45 minutes and then we'll check the draw. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes now. We can check and see what our draw is, our uh, parasitic draw. And it's about 1.76 milliamps, but we need to take off the other sources for the path for the current to flow. Let's take them off one by one. These are your jumper cables. Let me take off the last one. And now all the, the parasitic draw current is running through the multimeter so we can view it on here. So we're running right about 22 it seems, 22 milliamps. And when it jumps up like that, to 2830 milliamps like that, that's the flashing of the, the theft light. And that, that's causing the, the jump on there every once in a while. So we're well within spec. The spec is 50 milliamps, and at 50 milliamps, your battery should last approximately 30 days under a parasitic draw of 50 milliamps, so we're safe at 50. And uh, this is, this is uh, typical, right around 18 to 25 is what I see for a regular parasitic draw. And uh, maybe if you got like a navigator or something like that, might be closer to, you know, in the 30s or low 40s, but if you're over 50, you're gonna start getting uh, dead batteries a lot faster, especially if they're in a weaker state. So, it, unless you have anything extra plugged in that's auxiliary, um, this should be about what you get. This is typical. So if you did have a draw, what you would do is take your needle nose pliers, both doors still open, obviously, and the reason the doors are open and latched uh, down so that they appear to be closed by the module is so that they don't wake up the module and then we'll have to start the whole process over again. So you go in here and you take out one at a time and watch the draw and see if it dropped. And then you leave it out. 
And then you go to the next one. Pull it out and see if the draw drops. If it's a considerable drop, then we know we got a problem in that circuit. And if we're still not down to the point where it's at uh, that 50 milliamps or less, then we know we still have a problem in our circuit and to keep going with this uh, procedure until we find the circuit that's causing the draw.